Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing something on the Tacoma that is honestly long overdue and I really wish I had installed this product on my truck when I first got it if I knew about it. But what we're going to be installing is a high quality paint protection film on our door pillars from a company called Screen Protect. Now I know that sounds like a very specific place to install paint protection film on the Tacoma, but honestly, after two years of owning this Tacoma and going on the trails with this truck, the door pillars are really susceptible to getting tree branch scratches and a lot of other scratches. On top of that, off the trails, my door pillars are a place that people touch a lot, including myself, and there have been scratches from people just getting into my truck on my door pillars. So any sort of scratch or residue that's deep enough is really really difficult to correct so what this high quality film from screen protect does is it covers up those scratches so basically now with the film on the way that the light hits the truck you won't be able to see any light or minor scratches anymore on top of that they're just an added layer of protection and even if those get scratched the film is quite self-healing so if you don't scratch it hard enough the film will actually heal and you won't see any of the new scratches that you get on that film. So this is going to be a super useful product for me and again I wish I knew about it earlier or earlier on into ownership of my Tacoma because I could have prevented some of the permanent scratches that are on the vinyl of my door pillars. The film comes in a DIY kit from Screen Protect which I'll link down below if you're interested in looking at or getting but in today's video I'm going to show you everything that's in the kit and how to install it. So guys, this install is honestly a little difficult, but it's well worth the time and effort, especially if you go off-road or are planning to go off-road. So I will make sure to mention all of the tips and tricks so that if you're planning on doing this, it will go smoothly. Also, even if you're not installing this, this video is kind of satisfying because it was really fun squeegeeing out the air bubbles from the film. So if you want to just see that, you're in the right place. So right off the bat, what you get in the Screen Protect Kit are a couple of things. You get a microfiber towel, a squeegee, a bottle that you just need to add water to, and the film, of course. And speaking of this clear film, it is a high quality paint protection film. That's right, it's PPF. It's not vinyl, but it's super thick, and when you apply it, it will apply with a matte finish, and it's the highest quality film you can get. Now, Screen Protect also sells a blacked out film, which also isn't vinyl but it's a thick film that has a layer of black paint on it so it's also really high quality just like the clear film and this is for if your scratches are so bad that you need to cover them up completely but today for my truck my scratches aren't too bad they're pretty light so I'm just going to be using the clear PPF film. So I start by adding water to the bottle and shaking it up to mix the solution then I use it to clean the surface of the first door pillar I'm doing which is the rear door. I spray down the surface again once it's clean clean, peel off the film from its paper, and then spray that down too on both sides. Also for this video, I'm only going to be showing you guys my passenger side because off camera I already did my driver's side just to practice. So the key thing here is to start at the top and line up the film from the top. And you'll see why in a minute, but if you mess up, the good thing is that you can just peel it back slightly and reposition as needed. The solution will be your best friend here if you need to reposition and just know that you will have some overhang on the side as you can maybe tell in my frame. But the film is actually cut like that and this is what we want because we're going to tuck that away at the end. So once I got everything lined up, I started squeegeeing out the air bubbles and water and this was just super satisfying to watch. At times it can be a little bit frustrating because sometimes these bubbles are hard to get out, especially especially if you're like me and you're not an experienced PPF applier, but if you just take your time and make sure everything is lined up correctly in the first place and then you use your squeegee to slowly work out the bubbles towards the edges, you'll be fine. So 
So the next most important step is to hold down the top of the film with one of your hands, which at this point is ideally all lined up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the bottom of the film down to where it lines up right at the bottom. These films are really high quality, so don't be afraid to stretch them. And they're actually meant to be stretched so that you can actually line them up. And they're also laser cut to precision to specifically fit your Tacoma. So if it's not lining up, make sure the top is lined up first and that you're stretching it down enough. This particular corner that you're seeing on camera gave me so much trouble literally for like 10 minutes and eventually what worked for me was kind of holding down the corner and then pushing out the big air bubble while I was putting pressure on part of it. Now these are not tips by a professional by any means whatsoever, so if any of you guys have more experience than I do, please leave tips in the comments section down below. So many of you are so knowledgeable and your feedback always helps not only the videos but also people who are following along, so thank you for leaving tips if you have any. And then the last part for this pillar is tucking the edge under the door trim, so I just used my squeegee to tuck that in and slowly work my way up. Then lastly, just use your squeegee to get out any of the last remaining bubbles that you have and you can already see how much of a difference this film helps for hiding those existing scratches. You can kind of see them here on the other door pillar that we haven't done yet and you can't see them on the door pillar that we just finished. I start the front door panel the same way we started the rear door, basically by just spraying then aligning the film, then getting some of the initial big air bubbles out. I wanted to take a quick moment in the video to say thank you so much to all of you who have watched, liked, and subscribed to the channel. I honestly never thought I would be making videos about my truck, but you guys have made me realize my passion for doing so, and my favorite part about making videos is hearing from all of you. So thank you guys so much. I have planned the next few months to be super busy with YouTube projects, and I'm even doing some DIY stuff I'm making for my truck. So I hope you'll stay tuned and continue to enjoy the videos. Anyways, I kind of do the same thing as with the other pillar where I pull down the film to line it up with the bottom. And then for this one, you'll notice that you have some overhang of the film from the door, and that's good. That means you lined it up properly. Now, the reason they're designed like this is because people that tend to use this film are people that use their trucks on the trails and are often washing their trucks. So Screen Protect made it so that the pressure washer couldn't take off the film, and it also just looks cleaner and it looks like the film's not even there. If you have trouble with this part or have trouble getting it to stick, I find it more helpful not to use the spray bottle to spray it down. I just let the film dry and it kind of becomes stickier and then I can fold it over and it'll actually stick and stay. So here's the final result and this clip was taken right after I applied the film so it looks a little bit dirty but these next two clips were two weeks later and honestly I think it came out great. I shined a really bright light and tried to see the old scratches and I couldn't which was great and overall I'm very happy with the result. Now that we have the entire Screen Protect kit installed on the Tacoma, in a lot of my videos I like to give you guys not just a review on the product and talk about the different products I put on my Tacoma, but I also like to talk about the companies behind them, and in this case, the people behind Screen Protect. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but I have met the people behind Screen Protect, and they really are the real deal, and they're just great people all around. They know their product inside and out. They've had multiple iterations to ensure that we're getting the best product for our Tacomas. I really am in love with this company because not only are their products amazing, but they also do a lot of community outreach and giving back. They actually donate a lot of their earnings, which is just amazing to see in a company that they're giving back to the community. Just personally, I always think it's amazing when you see a company with a great product and great community outreach, so thank you Screen Protect. So even though this install of the Screen Protect kit can take a little bit of time, I think it's pretty user friendly and hopefully the tips in this video help you out. Again, if you're interested in picking up this product or even just checking it out, you can click the link in the description down below. That is all I have for today's video, but if you want more content from me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. Other than that, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.